one. Hi, everyone. Um, so good to see you today. Um, for today's workout, what we're going to be doing is one geared more to our active older adults. Um, so it's going to be set up just the same as the last one that I did. We're going to start with a warm up and then go into two different supersets. Um, so this is the, the our, basically our warm up. So Mary's going to start with her ball. Um, if you have a rubber ball, if you have a balloon, a basketball, or if you don't have anything, you can do it with just moving your hands. Um, but she's going to reach down over one knee, keeping her arms straight, and then she's going to twist and bring the ball up over her opposite shoulder. So you want to focus on rotating at your core, uh, using your ab muscles to twist, and then bringing the ball up. So you're going to do 10 repetitions on one side. And then you'll switch and do 10 on the other side. So reaching down over one knee and then up over the opposite shoulder. Um, if that feels too easy for you, you can do it standing. So standing up, you'll again reach down over one knee. You want to push your butt back and then stand up and reach over the opposite shoulder. If you do it standing, you'll again do 10 on each side. Um, so after you get that done, that exercise, then we're going to do the TYIs. Um, so Mary has soup cans today. Um, if you have those, you can use those. If you have water bottles, you can use water bottles. Um, if you have small one to two pound dumbbells, you could use those as well. Um, but for the T, she's going to have her arms straight out with her pinkies pointing out, and she's going to pinch her shoulder blades together as she pulls straight back. Then she'll come back down to the front. She'll flip her hands so her thumbs are up, and she's going to pull up and out to make a Y shape. And then when she flips her hands up, so her thumbs are up towards the ceiling, and she's going to pull straight up for an I shape. And you will then cycle through those three shapes, making a T, a Y, and then an I. Um, and you want to go through and do eight rounds, or eight rounds of those three exercises. Okay? And once you've then completed that, our last movement for the warm-up is going to be high knees. Um, if you feel balanced enough standing up, you don't need to use the chair. If you want to have the chair for a little extra support, feel free to put your hand on the top. Um, you're going to pull one knee up as high as you can. You want to focus on keeping your core tight and actively engaging your quad and pulling as you come up. And you're going to do 10 of those on one leg. And after you've done 10, you'll switch and pull your opposite knee up and do 10 on that leg as well. So once you've completed all three of those exercises, that's one round, and you're going to repeat that so you've done each exercise two times through. And that'll be the end of your warm-up. All right, so for our first superset, we're going to have two different exercises that we're going to cycle through. Uh, the first one is a sit to stand. Um, so with that, you're going to start seated on your chair. You want to have your feet about shoulder width apart, your toes facing straight forward, and then you're going to pull your knees out so that they're over top your feet. Okay? That's your starting position. Once you're there, you're going to squeeze your abs nice and tight and push your feet through the floor to stand up. Try not to use your hands to stand. And then you're going to stick your butt back out, keep your knees out, and sit back down. Okay? You're going to go up and down. You want to completely sit on that chair each time, but actively keep your core nice and tight and not completely relax at the bottom and your goal is to do somewhere between 8 to 12 repetitions if it feels hard with 8 go ahead and stop there if you think you can get 12 go ahead and try for 12 okay. and then after you're done your sit to stand we're going to go to the wall and do some push-ups on the wall so you want to have your hands shoulder height and then shoulder width apart you're then going to tighten up this part of your back so that your elbows are pulled in towards your body and then you're going to lower your chest down towards the wall and then push yourself back up. So you want to lower your hands a little bit. There you go. You want to have your hands right by your shoulders as you're pushing up and down. So as you go down towards the wall and push back up, you want to completely extend your elbows at the top and then go back down. Um, just like the sit to stand, your goal is to do somewhere between 8 to 12 repetitions. If the wall feels super easy for you, you can find a counter in your kitchen or a dresser or something sturdy and do your push-ups on there. So the same thing, you want to keep your hands about shoulder width apart. You're going to tighten up this part of your back to bring your elbows in and then lower your chest down to the surface and then push back up, completely extending your elbows at the top. And that'll be, uh, once you've done that, that's one round. And you're going to do that two more times for a total of three rounds, three times on each exercise. So for our last superset, we're going to have two different exercises that we're going to be doing. 
Uh, the first one Mary's going to demonstrate is our leg curl. Um, so again, like your high knees, if you feel balanced, just standing up, don't use your chair, go ahead and just do it freestanding. If you need that little extra help, go ahead and use your chair. Um, so what you're, you're going to be doing is you're going to pull your foot up towards your glute. Um, you want to actively engage your hamstring, so you're really focusing on squeezing that hamstring nice and tight as you pull your foot up. You don't want to just throw your foot up in the air and try to get as high as, to your glute as you can. Um, so you're going to be doing 10 on each leg, so you'll do 10 on one side. Once you've done that, you'll switch and then pull up 10 on each side. Again, remember to really engage that hamstring and focus on squeezing that nice and tight. After you've done 10 of those on each leg, we're then going to move into a row using the chair. Um, so for her weight, Mary has a grocery bag that we have filled with water bottles. Um, you can put some canned foods in there, uh, anything you have around the house you want to add to your bag that make it heavy enough for you. Um, she's going to have one hand on the chair. Her feet are going to be staggered. The hand that has the, gar or the grocery bag in it is going to be the foot that's going to be back. Um, as she bends over, she wants to keep her core nice and tight so her back stays flat, and she's going to row the grocery bag straight up. Okay? She's focusing on squeezing her shoulder blade, pulling it to the middle of her back, and keeping her shoulder down, not up by her ear, but down where it's supposed to be in the back. Um, so you're going to do 10 repetitions on one side, and then you'll switch your hands and your feet and do 10 repetitions on the other side. Again, keeping your abs nice and tight and sticking that butt out as you bend over. Um, so once you've completed 10 on each side, that's one round, and you'll repeat that two more times to do a total of three rounds, and then you've completed your workout for today.